minutes. Hey guys, welcome to the School of Rock Stars. Today I'm so so excited. This is another episode of Becoming Rock Stars. So I'm so excited because I'm today I'm meeting my inspiration because with this motivation, with his motivation, I started doing Instagram videos. Uh, like in the past, I have like so much fear in me. I resisted myself. I didn't like a speak out in front of the camera, but seeing this kid, I posted my first video on May 14th. From that day onwards, I like uh, keep on doing it every single day. Today, we are going to meet the elementary entrepreneur, Julian Alfaro. He wrote, he is an, like a nine year old kid. He's, he is doing entrepreneurship and also he wrote one book called Elementary Entrepreneur at the age of eight. It is a, one of the best selling book on Amazon. I ha like I got an opportunity to meet him and talk to him today. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful for the universe. Hello. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Yes, oh, I'm hearing you. Okay. No, that's good. Um, hope you're having an amazing day. Um, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I just saw you alive. Um, I'm doing amazing. Um, I've, I've been, I'm doing videos. I just, um, did a video about fear. So, yeah. Thank you so much for accepting my invitation. Thank you so much. Mm, yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, can you introduce yourself and what are you doing now? Like, uh, what are you studying? What do I study? Um, I study, uh, well, in, like in school? Yes, in school. So I'm nine years old. Um, I get a lot, I get a lot of good grades. I, my favorite subjects, math and science. I, um, so for my school, I'm in a combo, which not really, not a lot of kids go in there. Um, so there's like 36 people in, in, um, in a combo class, and then there's like three, three, two other fourth grade classes. So um, it's pretty much like my third grade teacher, she, like, she picked other kids, like some kids to go in um, combo. So, so like, uh, yeah. What motivated you to choose entrepreneurship? Why you choose entrepreneur? My dad, he motivated me to um, to do this. Um, so first I saw him doing stock marketing. Okay. I was like four years old. Um, I got interested. So I said, what is this? So like he answered and um, I didn't know what it was. So um, I, I read books about it. But my dad, he also found another um, uh, Grant Cardone and Kayla Maddox. So I started watching the videos, entrepreneurship. So my dad got me into all of this. Awesome. You have like a very good supporting system around you, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, like who are your uh, strong support system? Um, Kayla Maddox, um, my dad, Kayla Maddox, my dad, um, my my mom my my uncle um so a lot a lot of um my aunt so there's a lot of people that support me awesome like uh what is your morning routine look like what um, do you do in the mornings my morning routine it looks like first uh, i do this i wake up i do my bed i get dressed for school i brush my teeth i do my my tim story or grant cardone Grand Cardone University, it's like a training system to sell. And um, I do, so that's what my morning routine is. And then after that is the afternoon. Okay, like uh, why you think making bed is so important? Wait, what was that? Uh, why you, uh, like, uh, why you think making a bed in the morning is uh, important? Oh, okay. Um, making a bed is important because um, it's like, Making a bed is important because it would like you don't have to worry about um so you won't you won't have to worry about the night and 
getting ready for your bed and um there's uh, um there's um what's up Omar um and it's very important so it would like help you a lot it would help you to remember so you're keep on doing it you're keep on keeping on doing it so you're going to be thinking to yourself I think I should do more about this I I think I should do like more than my bed um so I think that's why Yeah it's like a small win right every single morning mm-hmm. uh, yeah like how do you balance your schooling and also your side hustle you make videos on instagram you do videos on youtube and you, you also attend uh, many events how do you balance that um how do i balance that um okay so what i do i have some time so what i do i get out of school i first do all my um homework um i do my videos and it's like after that it's like 5 5 6 um pm so i balance it by doing like a lot of like stuff i would um so that's how i balance it. i would um do everything so I'd, uh, so i don't have to wor- worry about it and then okay. after that i would i would, i'm free so like So so yeah you schedule you schedule everything yes okay like uh, how much time in a day you spend for your like a uh, side hustle like making videos hmm. oh, either 3 hours no like 2 1 hours like i spend that much so uh i just did um a video it was it was pretty quick um <laughs> that um like also shout out to my mom she's in this video and she's saying um the babies we have twins so yes we got both yes twins. one sister and brother mm-hmm. yes yes um yeah. okay so um i yeah i usually spend that an uh, hour um spending i just did a video that what that only took me about 20 10 minutes because okay i, I usually get it down easily but um that's what how much i spend so like um uh, on weekends what do you do uh well this weekend we went to a event called driven driven yes and i saw so, that um it driven so we we went i met grand cardone i met my mentors i i so that's what i did on the weekend and also on um sunday we um sunday we um we went to church so we would pretty much go to church every sunday um and then we would be we we went to olive garden a restaurant and after that we um we were we were like investing in real estate so that's what we were doing this awesome and like um can you please tell me what are the steps you followed uh, to overcome your shyness to get confidence Um a way that I did that is I would t- tell myself I would believe in myself I had courage I I did I starved the doubt I starved I starved like the fear I starved the doubt um and I focused on the good things in life I start I started um like doing courage I started to like be confident so when I was little I I when I was like 5 6 years old um I did videos and I was pretty nervous so I would focus on the courage so yeah awesome like uh, what kind what books do you suggest to kids uh, uh books that I recommend to kids is there's some um, there's this just like nine books um Kayla Maxx you wrote nine books and I recommend um kids um reading Grant Cardone if they they could also go on audiobooks they could um they could go on audiobooks if um if you guys know it and they could read books so like Grant Cardone's videos Kayla Maxx um if you don't know them they wrote I know them so you could read them yeah like uh, what are the top 3 books you suggest like a uh, just top 3 book um the the fir- the first three is um Think and Grow Rich Think and Grow Rich is my favorite um 10x rule and there's also hmm, i also i recommend my book the elementary academy yes <laughs> because like uh, in that book you speak about confidence 
finding your obsession and also like uh, uh, how do you find your mentors can you please help on that uh, can you please give suggestions how do i find my mentors my dad he um he found my mentors he like he would like search on podcast he would like go on instagram well he, my dad started on instagram like like a year ago i don't know but um my dad um he he like he looked for mentors on like podcast instagram he um he looked for them on facebook he he watched many kinds of podcasts so he would probably look for them online so okay. how my dad found mentors or uh, so like uh, yeah how do he contact them like uh, he emails uh, them or like uh, is there any okay um how does he contact them he he would um i well i would um go on instagram i would probably message them i would like do videos to them so they could reply like something i would awesome. do is i would do so much videos that it could probably pop up on their screen and they would oh. watch it and they're like how how much videos does this kid do a day so oh uh, what's up albert brisiel um albert brisiel yes okay? um yeah that driven so yes. driven he went mm-hmm. so so that's how i contact um people that's thank you and awesome like uh, uh what courses do you took for your self improvement for my self improvement um so i watched some um courses i watch um there's this course called um my, my dad my oh yeah cardone university there the training um the training course where like there's like i want to i want to shout out that um like course Cardone University will make you from like like being all afraid and being all like I can't do anything um and being bad at sales and it will make you being like the best sales person in the world so it's like it's reviewing his steps that how he became um so successful in life so that's I want to that's one of the courses that I would recommend. awesome and like uh, how do you stay focused because you have lot of distractions you have tv video games around you like how do you stay focused well um i kind of say to myself i kind of get it out of my mind just focus on it and also one other course that i forgot to say is summa success it's a um it's a it's like a little course for kids and the it's kilo max's course so i want to i want to also say that i recommend that course too. but um my, oh yeah so i keep i like say to myself um to myself that i'm not focused on this right now um i don't play video games on the week weekdays so i would probably get it out of my mind and just focus on the the things that i sh- i need to do i like my my main priorities like so that's all awesome like uh, uh you have like a homework to do and also you do a lot of reading lot of listening to audio books and also you do courses to improve yourself like uh, that uh, gives you more stress right how do you keep like uh, that balance how do you uh, keep out of your stress okay um okay That's uh okay um how I keep that balance I say that question again so I could hear it more Yeah uh, you have like uh, so much to read on your school yeah. thing and also you read many books and also you do a lot of uh, courses to improve yourself uh, it it is stresses your mind right it gives so much stress to you so how do you like uh, make yourself happy and uh, peaceful Yeah, okay. So what I do is I do my daily five first. There's something called the daily five and um I heard this from Kayla Maddox. He would first do the the like his main priorities first like there's five things that he should do. And like I one of the daily five things I should do is my goal. So I would first focus on the main priority things and make a list of what they are and make like a check off list um if you did it or not. So I would like write my I would do my daily five first. So that's what I would um that's what I would do. Awesome. Like uh uh <clears throat> do you recommend like a uh, making a vision board helps you keep uh, going? Yes, of course, yeah. Um yeah, 
Yeah, um, this is another thing that um, that uh, I also, Caleb Maxwell says, he says to visualize your goals. So put like something up that you really want to be and put it on like a, some, like a wall and then say, and like it would, it would say who is your, who do you, you want to be when you grow up? So um, that's, that's um, a way that you can visualize. So yeah. Yeah, like, uh, uh, can you give us examples, like, uh, on your vision board, what you kept and what became true? Um, so, um, a way that, um, a person that I want to be when I grow up is Cristiano Ronaldo or Leo Messi. Um, I want to be a soccer player. Um, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up. I want to be successful, like, Warren Buffett, um, Jeff Bezos. The, even though I don't have Jeff Bezos yet, I want, I like, I want to be like him. He. Um, he's very successful. He's the founder of Amazon. So yes. um, those are examples of what I want to be. Awesome. And like how many, like uh, coming to the book, how many days you took to complete this book? Um, I, well, it, it took a, a month to finish it, but to publish it, it took about, so I finished it in December or something because yeah, December. So, um, I think it took about four or five months, pretty much. So January, February, March, April, May. yeah, six, six, six days, six months. To six publish. months. One month to like, like finish the whole book and re- making like ready for it to be published. So like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, how many hours you spent on this book, like writing? Who helped you in this process? So it's so I like when I was um well it's pretty much hard uh, math for us but like I I would spend at least an hour a day to um, oh to like a day awesome so yeah and amazing also, like um a publishing company I recommend if you want to write a book um uh, is Maddox Publishing this course is like it's a very great publishing company. I would recommend it as like the best company, um, publishing company, um, I would ever see. And it's like a, like an easy process that they, they, you just go on their videos and then, um, go on their videos and it could like show you like 30, 20 steps of how, of how to publish your book and how to, um, write your book. So that's, um, it, my recommend my Maddox publishing. Awesome. And uh, like uh, in this book journey, what is the hardest part in this whole process of writing a book? What is the hardest part? Um, wait, what was that again? What is the hardest part in writing a book? Um, I would say it would take, it would take, um, the only thing I would just like say, it's not very hard, but if you want to make it more like more shorter, like more easier, um, it would, you would just like go on this app called Rev and just like communicate the words, like almost like Siri, and you can just communicate the words and it will like re- put it on your okay, phone to, like connect it. So, um, the only thing I like I would I would do is not I would not like it's maybe too hard to like type it, so it would take way longer to type it than like speak out of it. That's pretty much the only thing I would just worry about. Um, awesome like uh, and what are your favorite hobbies other than a uh, reading or uh, uh, like uh, listening to podcast um my favorite like the hobbies that i would do is i would also um i would on the weekends i would um usually play video games um i would so that's i want to be a youtuber when i grow up so I would usually practice on that. I would talk um, to myself, and I would um, I would usually um, what else? I would. And you also play soccer. I would do videos. Um, I do videos. I would play soccer. Um, so soccer's. I want to be a soccer player when I grow up. So I would practice soccer. Soccer's a hobby for me. So that's one of my hobbies that. Those are pretty much my hobbies where I do. Awesome. Like, uh, um, and like how much support you get from your school 
uh, staff and your uh, like a uh, peers like your classmates wait what was that like how much support you get from your school staff school teachers um well i well like credit credit oh so um for my credit like for school um for my report for my reports i would usually get a lot of credit i would um i would usually um i would get a lot of credit i would i'm i'm a good listener so i pretty much get a lot of um report i also support um i i support in school yeah i support my book in school and like uh, what did, uh, what is the best uh, compliment you got from your teachers when you show your book to them what is the best compliment mm-hmm. who gave you that that's a tough question i've had <laughs> uh, five five teachers so okay that's a tough question that's a really tough question um so five five one um compliment out of what like five times 365 um, days so um the most best compliment is probably um i would say that how did you like i really like this book how did you do this and like people some some teachers say um i'm really amazed and like so people some yeah it's pretty much the best compliment like uh uh you met grand cardone and albert and also like uh, you met ty lopez and you met les brown so uh, yeah like how do you get a chance to meet them like uh my dad um he would usually hear about um he would usually hear about events that who's going there so he would like tell me like um he would go online because and he would he would look for um some events that are going to happen or it might like pop out somewhere so he would like look and he would tell me that Les Brown is coming so i would literally say yeah i haven't met him so i would be all like yes like or sometimes um some of my mentors that i know like Kimo Maddox they would probably tell me um about an event that it's upcoming that he's going to be going there so um so i would also um look for that and also awesome yeah when i see your picture with les brown i am i felt like that's amazing mm. yes yes <laughs> like uh, what you talk to them like if you like uh, you get a chance to talk to them and also uh, like uh, have lunch with them so uh, what kind of con- conversation you make with them so yes um i would i would communicate with them of course so I would usually uh I would usually know some like I'm um, I know like we went to Ty Lopez's house to do like a little intro for um Driven and I I, I was surprised but um her um his cousin Ty Lopez's cousin was there and um so I would usually communicate to a lot of people so I would usually um be all like excited so I would like walk up to them and I would just say hi to them and I would ask questions to them and I would like say to them how how what is your like what do you recommend for me what books do you recommend for me I'll ask them questions Yeah like when you met Les Brown what did you say to you what did you, uh, yeah what did he say um, to you He said to me um I was uh, he's um so I would usually uh, yeah I think I remember what he said because he's like about he's like in his 70s yeah but um i remember him saying that um i'm proud of you um keep on doing what you're doing um and he said that um i think i i don't really remember um what he said but it's something like that i'm proud of you um keep on doing what you're doing and like don't like don't listen to that negativity and like in your book the last chapter says that create your own future can you please uh, elaborate on that okay so to so create your own future is pretty much um create like a future that you will never forget that you will that you will keep on um that you you will keep on um like you will keep on working on you will keep on um like some a future that you would work on that you want it to be 
like a, the best future that any person would ever have, would ever have, and like create a future that is not negative, pot that is positive. Create um like a be- best future. Yeah, can you please tell me? Uh, can you please tell us one uh, tip in selling, like uh, how to sell, how to good at selling? Um, like pretty much the best thing that you have to have in selling is you have to have attitude or body language. It's pretty much the best thing that you have to do in selling. You you can't be all like if like if a salesperson was all like don't like was all negative and he was he he didn't have good attitude. Like one hundred percent, people would say no, um, and they would be they they wouldn't buy because he would didn't have good um good attitude. So I would say attitude is the best thing. Uh, a number one tip with body language. Awesome, thank you. Like, uh, what advice do you have for the uh, kids and also the parents? What advice? The most simplest um thing that I would say is just never give up. Um, surround yourself with positive people. So, um, I would say simple things to them that they would they would um, I would say simple things to them, and I would like, I would say things that they're just bar- barely getting started on, and they they could understand because they're they're little. They're like six, five years old, so they would understand simple things. uh like uh, what advice do you give to the parents as well like uh, do you have any small advice to them yeah um never give up have great attitude whenever you're selling so whatever anything like when whatever you're selling like candy um whatever you're selling you're like raffle tickets hats um you would have to give attitude you have to give them like like the best attitude that you could ever have um I recommend attitude and also have good habits do the daily five do your morning routine so like do like do things that would um help you achieve um that would help you achieve your life yeah like uh, this is the last question to wrap up and what is your passion and what do you want to do in the future like uh, i want to so. school life that's pretty much my main focus on um i want to i want to be um successful i want to i want to like when i grow up i want to like like i want to find mentors i want to meet the one of the most like most best people that ever like like jeff bezos i want to meet bill gates warren buffett like the most successful people i i really want to talk about when i grow up. and also i want to help people i want to I want to help people and like if they're if they're struggling and I would say like advice um don't like have courage and don't have fear start the start the fear and um grow your grow your courage so yeah yeah like uh, when i'm at your age i did nothing i just went to school and after coming back uh, i watched tv I, other than that i did nothing but you are doing amazing job Thank you. Thank you. Re- yeah, really grateful to you. <laughs> also, thank um, you. Yeah. Um did, did you have good grades in school? What? Yes, I do have. Good. Um and I I would usually um hang around with kids that um that had good grades. I would hang around with kids that had good grades. So, um and also uh, advice for um another kid is like read every day um so you could so you could um process of school life but um but yeah and can you give me advice uh, to improve my like uh, speaking or uh, how to be on camera last advice for me so um i would say if when i'm speaking i would um i would usually like have eye contact i wouldn't be looking on the ground sometimes i actually do that but um most of the time uh i i also look on the like uh, to the people i i would give eye contact to the audience and i would um say and i i would like give compliments about them i would like give something exciting to them so like like give something that is like very like like give eye contact to the audience and then give very like a lot of enthusiasm and it's like it's like um like a a guy is giving the most simplest things in um 
in like the world and like for success and then um uh, like you have to give enthusiasm e- like even though you're giving the simplest questions uh, or like the simplest advice you have to have enthusiasm and they're going to be like this is the best speaker that I've ever listened to because you had um enthusiasm so um so yeah thank you so much thank you dirian thank you so much for your time mm-hmm. and so grateful for your opportunity thank you for your time too also thank so, you so, yeah. so about future your future too and tell them how you're going to go it so yeah so hope you you're going to have an amazing day thank you thank you so much thank you have a good day mm-hmm. have a great great day thank you Thank you so much guys thank you so much for your support and love he is amazing he is one of my inspiration to start a video to put a video on instagram by seeing him i started putting from that day onwards i didn't like every single day i'm doing a small video or a side hustle because he is eight he is doing things amazing things i'm 25 but I feel that you have to do something great don't quit if if you are not getting followers or uh, if you are not getting mm, views don't ever think about followers or subscribers or uh, any likes just do your thing you'll get better every single day thank you so much thank you so much for everyone thank you namaste